We'll start off with our coverage of the 79th United Nations General Assembly. The UN Summit for the Future was a time for Nigeria to join the global partnership towards ensuring a better world, peaceful and stable. Vice President Kashim Shetima and other delegates from the federal government, subnationals and private sector had talks with development partners and deepened ties with other countries towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports from New York. Nigeria's participation at the 79th session of the United Nations General Assembly was quite productive considering how the advocacy for the reforms of the United Nations Security Council to admit two African countries gained traction. This time around, Nigeria may just get a seat at the table. Vice President Kashim Shetima led Nigeria's delegation to this annual global event. Beyond delivering Nigeria's national statement, he has held several meetings on the sideline. These arrangements have opened up new prospects and opportunities, including a partnership between MasterCard and Nigeria to support one million farmers to improve yields and agricultural productivity. There's another $600,000 commitment for flood relief, food and agricultural sectors reform from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. ExxonMobil also proposed a $10 billion investment in Nigeria's deep water oil operations. This is coming just as the international maritime giant DP World has announced plans to develop a multi-billion dollar port project in Nigeria. This year's UN General Assembly largely portrayed the respect Nigeria has earned on the global scene. It didn't matter that DP Shetima was representing President Bola Tinubu. He got a spot to address the General Assembly on the first day, a situation that is highly unlikely for representatives of heads of government. Joining me for more on Nigeria's gains at uh, the UN General Assembly at this time is uh, Bish Johnson, our uh, retired captain in the U.S. Marine. Good to have you join us at this time. Uh, well, Nigeria, just like other African countries, uh, you know, have an ambitious goal of securing permanent seats on the U.N. Security Council. What really are our chances? Okay, uh, good evening. I thank you for having me. Um, based on our sheer population of over 200 million people, the largest black nation on the planet, um, one in four black people in the world. Who is this now? Hello? Yes, Captain Johnson. If you can hear me, kindly respond to that question. What are the chances of Nigeria securing this permanent seat on the, uh, the UN Security Council? Yes, uh, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. And so, as I was saying, based on our share population of over 200 million people, um, one in four black person in the world is a Nigerian. And so, that alone uh, should give us you know, the Indian Security Council. Um, but as you know, we're not the only country in Africa that will be asking for this. And I don't think they're going to give Africa more than one uh, uh, Africa. Uh, you have uh, Egypt. This is not the first started nation. It didn't start today. Have to really uh, work hard, you know, build bridges, reach out to people, and uh, try to see. Uh, 